Choosing and refining a suitable research topic for a master's or PhD dissertation can seem challenging, but by following a structured approach, you can find a topic that is both relevant and feasible. In the fields of consumer behaviour and sustainability, the range of topics is broad, but it's crucial to narrow it down based on your interests, existing research and the potential contribution to the field. Below is a step-by-step -step guide to help you choose and refine a research topic, with practical examples specific to consumer behaviour and sustainability. Step 1. Identify your area of interest. Start by thinking broadly about the areas that interest you the most within consumer behaviour and sustainability. Consider what aspects of these fields excite you and align with your academic and career goals. Reflect on topics that have intrigued you in previous coursework or work experience. Consider recent trends and emerging issues in the field, such as the impact of climate change on consumer decisions, ethical consumption, or the role of technology in sustainability. For example, you might be interested in the role of eco-labels in influencing consumer purchasing behaviour. Or you could be drawn to sustainable fashion and how consumers perceive and engage with ethical fashion brands. Step 2. Conduct preliminary research. Once you've identified your general area of interest, Conduct a literature review to explore what research has already been done and identify potential gaps in the literature. This helps you avoid repeating existing research and uncovers new avenues for investigation. Search academic databases like Google Scholar, JSTOR or university library resources for recent papers and reviews on topics within consumer behaviour and sustainability. Identify key themes, debates and gaps in existing research. For example, you might find that while there are many studies on eco-labels and food products, less attention has been given to how eco-labels influence the purchase of non-food items, such as electronics or fashion. This could highlight an opportunity to explore an under-researched area. Step 3. Narrow down your focus. After reviewing the literature, it's time to narrow your focus. A broad topic can be too overwhelming to address thoroughly, so refining it to a specific aspect is crucial. Focus on a particular context, like a specific industry, geographic region, or consumer segment. Choose a manageable time frame or scope that can be realistically researched. Consider the feasibility. Do you have access to the data, resources, or participants needed to research the topic? For example, instead of studying sustainable consumption behaviour in general, narrow it down to How do eco-labels on fashion products influence purchasing decisions among millennials in the UK? This gives you a clear focus specific labels, a particular industry, fashion, and a target demographic, millennials. Step 4. Formulate a clear research question. Your research question should be specific, measurable and researchable. It should guide the entire study and be framed to answer a particular problem or gap in the literature. Questions to consider. What specific issue or gap are you addressing? What are you trying to discover, prove or understand? Is the question realistic in terms of time, scope and resources? An example of a clear research question might be, what is the impact of eco-labels on the purchasing behaviour of UK consumers when shopping for sustainable fashion brands? This question is specific. Eco-labels, UK consumers, sustainable fashion, measurable, as you can collect data through surveys or interviews, and researchable. Step five, consider the relevance and contribution to the field. It's important that your topic is relevant not only to your academic interests, but also to the wider field of consumer behaviour and sustainability. Ask yourself, why does this research matter? How will it contribute to existing knowledge? Who will benefit from the findings? For example, in the context of sustainability, 
understanding how eco-labels influence consumer behavior could help policymakers and businesses develop more effective labeling strategies to promote environmentally friendly products. This research could contribute both to academic knowledge and to practical applications in the business world. Step 6. Refine your topic based on feedback. Before finalizing your topic, seek feedback from your supervisor, peers or professionals in your field. They can offer valuable insights and help you further refine your research question. Actionable steps. Present your initial idea to your supervisor and ask for their input. Be open to suggestions on how to narrow or adjust your topic for clarity, feasibility and impact. For example, your supervisor might suggest you refine your topic from the impact of eco-labels on UK consumers to how do eco-labels affect the purchasing behaviour of Gen Z consumers in the UK fashion industry. This feedback narrows your focus to a specific demographic, Gen Z, making the research more targeted and feasible. Step 7. Define your research objectives and hypotheses. Once you have refined your research question, it's time to define your research objectives and hypotheses, if applicable. These will provide a clear roadmap for your study and help you stay focused. Objectives. What are the specific goals of your research? Hypotheses. If your study is quantitative, what are the expected relationships or outcomes? Example. Research objective. To assess the effectiveness of eco-labels in influencing sustainable purchasing decisions among Gen Z consumers in the UK. Hypothesis. Gen Z consumers are more likely to purchase fashion products with eco-labels than products without eco-labels. Step 8. Assess the feasibility and resources. Make sure your chosen topic is feasible, given the resources, time and access to data you have. Consider practicalities such as access to participants. Can you access your target population, for example, Gen Z consumers? Time frame. Can you realistically complete the research within your program's deadlines? Data collection methods. Do you have the skills and tools to collect the necessary data? like survey design, interviews, or focus groups. For example, if you plan to conduct interviews with fashion consumers, consider whether you have enough time to recruit participants, conduct the interviews, and analyze the data within the given time frame. Step 9. Finalize your research topic. Once you've completed all the steps, finalize your research topic. Ensure it is specific, researchable, relevant, and feasible. This finalized topic will guide the rest of your research process, from proposal writing to data collection and analysis. Final research topic. Example. The role of eco-labels in influencing sustainable fashion purchases among Gen Z consumers in the UK a mixed method study. This final version is clear, specific and actionable. It focuses on a particular group, Gen Z, a specific behavior, sustainable fashion purchases and a tool, eco-labels, while also defining the geographic location, the UK and methodology mixed methods. Step 10. Write your research proposal. Now that you have a clear and refined topic, you can start writing your research proposal. This will lay out your research question, objectives, methodology and expected outcomes. Conclusion Choosing and refining a research topic for your dissertation in consumer behaviour and sustainability involves multiple steps from identifying your interests and reviewing existing literature to formulating a clear, focused research question. By following this structured approach, you'll be able to choose a topic that is not only relevant and interesting, 
but also feasible and impactful for both academic and practical applications in the business world.